Hello guys, I wanted to talk about Galactic Getaway, a cozy online space game. At the moment, there is... Where'd it go? Hello? We'll, we'll, pop, this, we'll pop it back up. At the moment, there is... $44,000 pledged out of $50,000. There's three days left. So they need $6,000 left. I just want to take a look at this. Number one, do I think this is going to get um, backed in time? I don't know why. Part of me is thinking no. Um, I feel like games... Games like this, cute, cozy games, Kickstarter games, I feel like if they don't get kickstarted in the first, I don't know, let's say if there's 30 days, I, I don't know how long this was up, but my thing is, if it's been here for 30 days and it's not been fully kickstarted by like the 10th or 15th day, it's normally really rough. It's really close at the end. I have kickstarted quite a few things, which, gosh, I hate kickstarting now because the things I've kickstarted have kind of been scammy, but... But there's three days left. They need $6,000. That's $2,000 a day. Will they be able to get it? I don't know. That's a lot. In, in my opinion, by the way, $50,000 is not a lot of money to create what it looks like they're doing. Hang out with friends in space, collect pets, and play mini games from the creators of Nokazon coming to PC, Mac, and Nintendo Switch. You're telling me this game is going to work on Mac? Macs are not good for gaming. So... Thursday, February 29th, 10.59 CST, all or nothing, so we got 6,000 bucks left. I'm going to post this as soon as I can, so we can we can kind of look back on this. So, here's the campaign. So, Galactic Getaway, welcome to Galactic Getaway, a cozy MMO, multiplayer, m multiplayer, online, something. You can explore outer space with friends, build a planet you call home, make your pets with the with the la, 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 with the fire wire la, wildlife I, it's 6 46 in the morning sorry farm undiscovered alien crops and decorate your house so there's cute pets you can customize there are mini games and you can explore to me it, it doesn't sound great i haven't backed it because i don't i don't really back games anymore um but i just don't find any interest in this the central hub where everyone can gather to visit the shops communicate with new friends and play mini games oh so it's like Oh, a massive multiplayer online. That's what MMO means, I think. So, it's giving Tomodachi. It's giving Tomodachi with that little island. So, planets. You got... There's different planets. Lava, ice, jungle, desert. Interesting. Congratulations! So, start your adventure. You can pick a pet. Um... Okay, so there's a, quite a few pets, I guess. Maybe they're showing more. Interesting. While living your best life in Galactic Getaway, you come across obstacles that will halt your gameplay. So you can use something to, like, win to cut down stuff? You got six NPCs. Meet some of the native locals who will help you get started on your planet. Okay, mini games. Play with new and old friends and fun mini games as you collect for coins, furniture, tools, and more. You can even customize your vehicle. Interesting. So robots and robbers, handball. Okay, so it's like a. I get it, like a shooting game, a puzzle game. Interesting. Yeah, count. Okay, count with everyone. Well, this is giving, we play this is giving we play i don't really know what this is giving some puzzle game character customization cottage core well with a wide variety of skin colors eye combinations outfits and accessories there are no limitations you got cottage core cosmic goth winter i mean the skin colors look great from what i've seen just right there um, with a wide variety of skin colors, eye combinations, outfit accessories, there's no limitations. So settle on your planet. You have your own planet you can build in your home. I mean, people have said this is giving Animal Crossing, and definitely, definitely giving Animal Crossing with the furniture and just the look of the game. Which, I mean, honestly, sometimes 
you take inspiration from games and I think it's good. Just like Coral Island took a lot of inspiration from Stardew Valley. I don't hate it because now I have almost a second Stardew Valley to play. But this one, like, look at this gift right here. Like, that's, you know, you will certainly face many challenges on your journey, but you don't have to face them alone. So now you have farming. Your new planet is rich with undiscovered crops. Find new, oh, sorry. I do alien plants, flowers, vegetables, and fruit. So from my knowledge, these all look like normal fruit and vegetables. I don't see any alien plants, but crop-wise, I mean, I think this looks kind of cute. Not going to lie. Who knows? Maybe I'll try to get a key for it when it comes out. Multiplayer, you can hang out. You can decorate. There are mini games. So with me in multiplayer, um, being able to hang out is nothing special. Being able to decorate together, eh, nothing special. Mini games is where it's at. If we do not have a plethora, a plethora of mini games, then this multiplayer might as well be the same as, um, man, what's it called? Animal Crossing New Horizons. That was a problem with New Horizons. New Leaf had the best multiplayer ever. There was so much to do. You could go to the island and play games and also just chill around your town. But this one, who knows? So music. It's literally called Tanks. Ooh, stretch goals. Okay, so. <laughs> stretch goals. Um, Galactic Galaxy. Is this what it's called? Galactic Getaway. So, 50k is just for the game. Galactic get Getaway is going to become reality. The next one, which is not locked, I don't think we'll reach cooking or fishing. Cook up some new concoctions to attract a wide variety of pets to your planet. Um, does that mean you can't cook anything at all? Interesting. And then fishing. Learn how to fish from a very unique pet companion. Are these already included or is it is it included but you don't try to get new pets and new pets? Are you just selling us new pets? Reward tiers. Let's take a look at these. We'll send a survey via email on March 1st to arrange. So $15 early bird. Our most dedicated supporters get a special discount on our $20 game tier. All the same content for $5 less. So it seems like the game will be coming out for $20. The next one is an early access game key plus a Saturn helmet for $20. Next one, Alpha Access, everything in the game, plus Alpha Access Game Key, Game Feedback, Alpha Discord. I I don't know how I feel about paying a $20 extra just to have Alpha. Because you're essentially just bug testing for them. Are you not? Why am I paying $20 extra to be able to bug test and play the game early? I'm trying to think, though, um, Sunnyside, that farming game, I kicked. I either kick-started or I alpha-backed or whatever. But that one, I think I paid an extra five. I didn't fart. That my I have a leather seat. <laughs> but I think I paid an extra $5 for that game. Um, and I got alpha backing and all and alpha and I don't know, all the other testing. So this one for $40 extra, that's that's quite rough. So I don't know. What do you guys think about the alpha? Do you also feel that for $20 more, that's quite... Like game feedback. Ooh, I pay $20 to give you game feedback. Like, no, I can do that when the game comes out on a Discord or something. So $55, everything plus an outfit, that's rough. Uh, $60, everything plus a turtle skin, which looks horrible. Uh, $70, two alpha access packs, excluded tiers from below. So you get a, a little discount. Helpful pack, $85, everything in the previous, plus game dev streams. Suggestion board, you have to pay for suggestions? You suck. $100, you get a furniture pack. It's giving um, Disney Dreamlight Valley 150 See, this is what I think is cool. 150 is expensive for what you get. But everything in all these other tiers, plus a hair, pet, and wings, which, again, 150 is rough. Uh, 250 uh, Two furniture packs, two exclusive pets, two in-game surprises, 250 
350 everything plus a walking trail so when you walk and then an extra alpha access game key that's like three or four alpha access game keys 500 a premium pack recipe of your own oh my gosh you could do like lynx toenails 750 styling on them premium pack game dev streams one alpha designer one game dev streams don't you already get game dev streams you do look at the 85 at the top and now look at 750 you get game dev stream twice a thousand dollars a day as a dev spend a day with the dev team on zoom that's so stupid that's so stupid Two thousand five hundred. <sighs> you get to design a pa- uh, design a pet. Three extra alpha. So you're just getting alpha game key, which is like six alpha game keys. That's crazy. Um, and then five thousand NPC designer. Um, you get three extra. So does that mean you get? I'm so confused. Either way, that's a lot of alpha game keys. Designing an NPC for $5,000, I think that's quite expensive. The pet, I've always liked the idea of a pet designer because my dog just, we had to recently put her down. So I would love to memorialize her in every game I play. Um, She's a Dalmatian, so oh, it's usually they have Dalmatians, but like, that's strange. So Steam and PC and Mac, they have alpha testing, early access, final release, um, Switch does not get alpha testing or early access. I'm shocked that they don't give you PC early access and alpha testing if you're a Switch, even if you can't use it. What? They're going to have English, Japanese, Chinese, Korean, Spanish, and French. That is... That's rough. They expect... The work begins 2021, so they've already created the game like three years ago and now they've kickstarted it maybe that's why they're able to show so much they kickstart it kickstart ends in a few days you got a whole bunch of early access 2024 so they have all this stuff um okay there are risks there's a high chance for unforeseeable hurdles Okay. Well, in this here, I kind of want to look at the the backs. I just don't want to say my name. Hold on. Okay, you can do it. So, pledge $3. You get a digital um, wallpaper. <laughs> Only 14 people did that. For $20, you get 261 people. For early... Our alpha access, you only get 131. This one, $55, you got 22. 13 for this one. You got 30 for this one. You got only 15 for this one, which it makes a lot of sense. $100, you only got, I mean, that's still a lot of money, right? But only 16 people. You got 40 backers for this one. This one, in my opinion, if you love this game, this is the tier to get. I think the exclusive pet and the hair and stuff is dope. Um, you only get eight backers for this. Makes sense. Not a lot of people have two. 350, you only have eight backers? Interesting. I, I feel like a walking animation. This needs a, few, a, a, a bit more. So make your own. Oh, there's only one $500 backer. So let them cook. Uh, make your own recipe. There's limited 30 people and only one person did it. 750, what do we think? Just one? zero backers wow i mean i had a feeling because like just to create an outfit can't you just put outfits together in the game (laughs) come on brother uh a thousand i have a feeling there's nobody nobody there's 10 people they wanted there's nobody i mean you're not selling me you're not selling me anything like what am I going to, I'm like a lot of people, I'm sorry, a lot of gamers, a lot of cozy gamers, we got social anxiety. We're anxious people. I don't want to Zoom call you for a day. How long's a day last? You're like, hey guys, I'll be right back. I have to go to the bathroom and you blow your guts out for 20 minutes and you come back. How do you, how are you just going to nonchalantly just like, 
Like, you just pooped yourself. Zooming the devs. 250 I can actually see somebody getting one. If they really like this game, but that's really expensive. 10 people did not get it. There's 10 people available and there's zero backers. This is the more expensive one I would have thought would have gotten. Because if you have a pet, if you've had a pet... That would have been a good one. So this one, zero people. Wah! You got a $5,000 backer? What? An NPZ? You know what? I would not be shocked. I would not be shocked if somebody from the dev team did this. <sighs> and then they could always, um, you know, just to inflate their price and they could always refund them. That's funny. Early bird. So this reward is no longer available. 250. I don't know what this is. Oh, this? They ran out of this one. Interesting. That's awesome. Okay, so that is it for Galactic Getaway. I think it's it's an interesting looking game. It definitely seems like it's trying a lot of things. To me, it seems like it's gonna be boring. Um, I feel like it shouldn't be called an MMO. That is just me. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm just like, huh, curious, but.